take on them. Yeah, right, Mexicans are up. This is Mr. Beef and Backyard Barbecue. Record these videos. We are in currently in. We ain't even in San Diego. I don't know why I'm tripping. We in Oceanside. Mm -hmm. This still Oceanside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, now they call this area probably Vista. Uncle Rub right here, y'all. Old school from Georgia. <laughs> That's my uncle. Came out here. Work sent me out here, but uh, my hand taking me to a little barbecue spot. So we're gonna. Uh, Jump into a quick little scene. Um, probably gonna see if I can uh, talk to the guys. They got their grills uh, locked up in a cage. Let's we'll see if we can uh, fast talk them in to open the cage up so I can get in there and see it. Cause what they do is they barbecue behind the cage and then take the food inside the store. So I'm gonna see if I can get in there and get y'all exclusive out here in California. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. This is Mr. B. Backyard Barbecue. I'm about to show y'all my man over here. I'm in San Diego. Hold on. I'm my uncle right there. I'm gonna show y'all him in a minute. See if y'all can see through that fence. Look at that. That's on your side. Of my car. My car. On the bottom. Yeah. I'm cranking. Hey, what's the name of the place? Primo. Primo food. Huh? Primo food. Primo food. Primo food. Yeah. All right. Hey man, tell America. Hey man. Tell me name, man. <laughs> Tell me, tell me name. Yeah, see, there you go. I don't know if y'all got that. Um, yeah. You going inside? Let me let me introduce y'all to my uncle, right? I'm out here in San Diego, California. Um, by the time y'all see this, I'll be home. I ain't that crazy to tell y'all I'm gone when I'm gone. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this video after I'm back home. Uh, but anyway, let's see. We're gonna go in here, see what they got. They got barbecue in here? No. Are you gonna keep the barbecue in here? I'm going back in. They got ribs. They got them in the side. Uh, they already cooked? Yeah, they oh, are. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Follow me. We're going to walk to the back. Oh, that's bread. That's Spanish stuff. Spanish stuff? Yeah. Spanish stuff? Yeah. Well, yeah. Mexico. Right there. All right. Hold on. I'm going to switch this camera around so I can get a better view, y'all. Give me a sec. All right. We're back, y'all. Y'all can see the crazy price out here in California. Ain't hey, too bad for some shit. I'm going to walk down and find some meat. Pork chop. Thin cut. Yeah. That look like it's been out forever. Like ready to go? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's already smoked. Smoked? Yes, they love smoke. Yeah. Do you have like half trays? Because right. we I'm have looking. the chafing dishes. Where we're going to put them in to keep them warm. Uh, so like we're the half ones up there. Yeah, it's a half. Eight pounds? Like they already okay. say, uh, Let's see here. Let's go to the cook oh. side. Oh, man. What this is this? Carne asada. Yeah. Uh, if you ever come to California, you got to try your burrito, man. Carne asada burrito. Let's go look over here on the cook side. Very real. They sitting on the heat line. They dry them. Sorry, I ain't put no, uh, no, uh, look at the chicken. The perfect red color. I don't know what they put on Mexico. Hey, comment below if you're Mexican. Tell me your secret, man. So I can master, master that cooking because I can't cook like that. Uh, let's, hold on, let's see what the spices are in right now. Hey, uh, Baby bag real. Okay, let me ask you. $21. What type Baby of sauce is that? Fried chill. That's a pound. Oh, man. I tell you. Oh, that's $21 okay. $21 for a slab of real. I might give it to you for $15. They're $1.99 each. One nine nine. I want the taste, but I always taste. They taste good. Give me a sample. Give me a sample. Uh, all right, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm all over the place right here, man. I'm in the Mexican shop, looking for the the next great item that I could purchase for season. Oh, what is this? Steak and meat. Carne. Uh, steak and meat, huh? Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, adobo chicken seasoning. <laughs> you know I'm having to get this one. I'm having to, got my lottery ticket in hand. That chicken, pollo. Man, that can't be, can't be too bad. It is. Mm, steak and meat seasoning. I'm gonna ask which one's the best one up here. Give me a second. Hey, y'all in line? Y'all in line? Okay. 
Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, all right. She was right behind oh, me. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I ain't in no rush. I'm over here recording. Like you would say. Hey, what is that? What is shrimp that? cocktail. Huh? Shrimp cocktail. Oh, shrimp cocktail. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's also octopus in there. Can you see that? Yeah, there's octopus. Shrimp cocktail. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I should just get both, huh? I'm gonna get both. Okay, right, yeah. 1198? Where my money at? Alright, we're gonna get two of these. Oh, yeah. Coming back to Florida with me, y'all. We're gonna do some videos with that. Thank you, man. Yeah, All right. All right. All right, y'all. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I see this. And just in case I lose this. $2. Yeah. What is it? Hold on. Make it, make it. Yeah. So if y'all don't see no more videos from me, y'all know how to hit the, uh, look at that. Oh, that's five balls. Uh, what's the total on this? One mega? I'm gonna show y'all these prices on this mega me. So if y'all don't see no more videos from me, y'all know where I'm at. I'm jumping ship, I'm out of here. Uh, I guess it'll come up. Yeah, I bought me too. How much? Look at that. That's 34 million. So you know you won't see me if I win that. Yeah. Anyway, let's walk outside one more time. And uh, look at the grill one more time. Let's see if they can. Uh, I'm asking if they lit me back here. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see what happened, y'all. Wish me luck. Hey, amigo. Hey, can I record your video? Like, your, your grills? Yeah. No working. Huh? No working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just record it, bro? How you? Can I come in? Can I come in? I just want to just record it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah. Like, can you open it up so I can see it? Yeah, it's a smoker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. smoker? Yeah, that's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, what you eating? Charcoal? Charcoal? Is that, is that wood or lump? Mesquite. Mesquite? Yeah. Okay. Man, that's hot, too. Yeah, super hot. Yeah. Oh, you the one do all the cooking? Yeah, all day. All day? Seven days a week, huh? No, no. Four days. Four days? Yeah. Oh, that ain't bad, man. That ain't bad. Y'all see these different types of smokers? I do YouTube videos. Me. You? Barbecue. Oh, yes. Yeah, matter of fact, hey, I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. I'm going to show you my pictures right quick, y'all. Let me back. All right, my backyard barbecue. Uh, as you can see, I'm back home. Got my Shirley Fab sitting down here. Uh... It's been used today. We just mess around, me and my partner just mess around, uh, mess around with the temps on it, uh, trying different things. But uh, be on the lookout for a video on that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's just me out there being me. Fast talk my way into getting inside the cage. Uh, normally they told me uh, after I stopped recording it, they don't normally let people in. I guess it's a safety thing. Uh, they cook the meat on the you know on the back side. It's kind of like a. a, a, a I don't know, like a little mini grocery store where you can go buy grocery. You saw the, the meat in the back, um, stuff like that. But uh, he was uh, nice enough to let me go back there. So I appreciate appreciate that, Tito, my new friend. Uh, every time I come out there, I'm coming to get some ribs from you. Uh, my uncle got some beef ribs from us, so my, I was able to taste that. And uh, be honest with you, even though the ribs sit under a heat lamp, I was thoroughly impressed with the uniqueness of the taste, man. Um, kudos to them guys, look like they're doing pretty good work. Next time I'm going to try that carne asada off of that grill and see what happens. I always get the burrito with the carne asada in it, and obviously that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try it next time, just buy me a whole slab and see what happens. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I don't know if you saw it, I ended up getting two of these of the chicken uh, pollo seasoning. Chef, uh, I don't even know how to say this, Merito. Uh If you've ever used this, comment below, man. Let me know. 
they charged me uh, $6. I don't know if you can see that. $6 uh, a piece for these. I bought two of them. I would have got the carne asada seasoning, but obviously I don't have no carne asada meat. So I'm going to start driving around to different butcher shops down here in uh, Florida and see if they actually sell it. I never really see, uh, you know, obviously Mexican food is not, you know, um, in abundance down here. But hopefully I get lucky and get some of that and then um, I'd be upset that I didn't get that carne asada seasoning. So maybe I can get my uncle to send me that. But anyway, uh, like I said, I met my new friend Tito. Every time I go to California, I'm going to go out there and uh, check him out, man. He's a new subscriber, so if you're watching this, what's up, Tito? Uh, appreciate you showing me uh, the ropes, showing me little grills in the back, you know, how y'all cook and stuff. And he was telling me uh, mesquite is the, the wood of choice out there for whatever reason. Um, and I can't complain. Like I said, with the beef ribs, it was pretty good. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to send y'all on y'all way. Oh, I got some more video I was recording with my Uncle Rob. You know, uh, hey Uncle Rob, you don't know I got this out there, so I'm going to tell you after I upload it. But anyway, if you don't know, well, I know you don't know. But anyway, I'm going to give you a brief story on him. And then uh, next week when I upload a video, it's just a random conversation with him and some interesting things um, about Vietnam War. He's a Vietnam vet. He did uh, his term there. You know, um, he did his full-time retire from the military. Um, but anyway, I'll show you that on the next video coming up next week. So be on the lookout for that. Just random talk about barbecue and some interesting I found at his house. So be on the lookout for that coming here soon. Uh, actually, the next video. Uh, like I said, if you ever use this, comment below. This chicken pollo season. Uh, brand new, like I said. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to wait till I do some chicken. And I'm going to do a video with it. And then uh, we're going to see what happens. So if you've used this, let me know. What I need to do with this, I'm gonna just follow the directions and uh, use my little so-called backyard barbecue skills and see if I can uh, create some uh, Mexico chicken. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. On tour in San Diego, well actually that was Oceanside, on tour, and uh, trying to find the best barbecue in the area. So, comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, I'll let your boy.